for that we have to, we insist them to make common their primers. Yes, that's true. During the examination also, when we had an online examination, we had used we asked that we have two cameras, yes. one mobile phone and one while writing to make an emulation. Still, when they are opening the books, we cannot see them. That, that is not in the view. So basically, in this uh, lecture workshop, particularly, no doubt, in our regular online teaching learning process, that happens. But in this lecture workshop, again, we scrutinize the fast learner, those having highest percentage. So, uh, and our experience that the majority of the students, uh, they use the Seriousness. It is because I also wanted to learn something from you, so that if some clicks, I can apply that Definitely. there, mm -hmm. if at all online system comes for me. So, in the regular practice that happens, we have the experience, which uh, uh, you have, we have the same experience. But particularly those who workshop, lecture workshop, all these things for the first learners. Uh, majority of 90-95% first learners, they are serious about uh, whatever the we go ahead. <coughs> this is the list of resource persons invited for the lecture workshops. This is the list of new yes. science academies refresher courses. The college, in collaboration with Indian Academy of Sciences, organizes 15 days refresher courses for the teachers, PG students, and PhD scholars from all over the country. The participants learn and gain new prospects of learning and to modify current teaching methodology in their respective subjects. The participants get knowledge and skills from the eminent scientists like Indian Academy Fellows, Senior Scientists, University Professors, Bhatnagar Awardees and Scientists of National and International Day. Various programs are conducted including lectures and discussions on curriculum, seminars, and excursion tour for participants. Total 121 participants were benefited by four refresher courses organized by our college in the subjects physics, chemistry, mathematics, and botany. Four refresher courses were conducted in all. This is the list of research persons invited. This is the list of refresher courses conducted in our college. These are some photographs. Now the outcomes. Outcomes of these activities. The first one is the district level Vigyan Hills camps, which are organized for school children. The scientific principles are understood by the students through experimentation and their concepts they become clear. The students get attracted to the science subject and take admission to science team. They get interest <coughs> and desire to become a scientist in future. DST inspired science camps. Out of these camps, the youth are communicated, communicated the excitement of creative pursuit of science. The required critical human resource pool is based. The students take education in basic science and undergo research activity. Several meritorious students who attended the camp are motivated themselves and admitted in our college for BST program during the last few years and some of them carried out research and published their papers in journals of national and international review and received inspired SHE scholarship. About the science academy lecture workshops, the workshops were organized for past learners. Their knowledge was included in specialized areas of, areas of their research, sorry, respective subjects. They occupy top position. Such students, they occupy top position in the university merit list and attracted to the perform research. And last one, national level science academies refresher courses. The teachers and students get updated with the latest knowledge in their subject. The refresher courses are considered for cash promotion. And many teacher participants were benefited by the course and promoted to next stage of their promotion. I have a question. For example, computer science. Here we have only one permanent teacher. Yes. Rest ten are from actual teachers. Related with the last part, mm -hmm. if the teacher, permanent one, wants to go to 
the purification course, you might allow because there are remaining 10. Now, if remaining 10, they want to attend the refresher course, will you allow them? Yes, contractual. Yes, yes. And uh, we have some teachers, uh, uh, they have done uh, 15 days of refresher course, some ATP programs also. Mm -hmm. So, we used to allow them. Now, with salary or without salary? With salary. With salary. Yeah, yeah. By providing the duty. That's so they are also treated at par with the regular teachers. So yes, yes. Whatever uh, only the salary is not uh, as parallel to the regular teacher for them, but all the Another. facilities, all medical leave, their duty leave, for going and attending conferences, anything. Fine. So please. So, Evidence of success. Total 2456 teachers and students were benefited from this best practice. All that is the last five years? Last five years. Yes. Last five. And the total budget was 1 lakh, sorry, 1 crore 23, 3 lakh 34,000 rupees. Right. This is the list of activities, total budget, and total number of beneficiaries. So, the problems encountered by college. The college aspires to interact with the Nobel laureates, but due to unavailability of national and international air flights in this region, it is not possible to invite such laureates. So, in this case, in this case uh, uh, so we used to uh, invite uh, Dr. Marshall, uh, then uh, Nobel laureates from abroad also. They communicated their uh, assurance, but due to the direct flight uh, uh, connectivity is not there. So that's why we missed. That. So whether the DST allows that international travel? Yes, yes. yes. Then lack special grant to be given. Inspire the scheme, uh, the chief, uh, Dr. Mukhopadhyay, he came here. So he visited our center and he himself inspired us to organize more and more camp. And uh, as they are getting outcomes uh, from such organization, so that, that's why our college uh, has emerged uh, a single college uh, to organize such camp in the world. Please, Dr. These are few photographs of Vigyan Munch camps, students performing experiments. This is also about Vigyan Munch camps. Inspire science camps, interaction between students and scientists. Experiments for controversial students. This is about sky watching. Lecture workshops, refresher courses. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, sir, actually, yesterday while visiting this botanical garden, we have so many students. We both have advised something. You ask one student to plant the sapling, take care for three years. In that way, so plant, or at least plant, a department with an alert. Plant, plant you choose yes, yes. That what kind of plant to be planted. It is not up to them. In that way you can have. So they will also inculcate the how to nurture a plant, something like that. Yes. And your campus it will turn green. You can also award uh, prices at the end of the okay. three years. Yes. So that there will be yes, some sir. competition between yes, department and class. Yes, or, or you can ask them to put their name also, that who had planted. Yes, yes. He may die. Yes. But the plant will remain there. Yes, sir. Like that. Flowering plant, fruit plants, which is available. 100% that can be done.
best part for it. Yeah. So <coughs> the second best practice is a student's encouragement through financial aids. Uh, that is called. So objective of this practice to encourage students to achieve excellence in academic, co-curricular and extracurricular activities. To provide financial assistance to meritorious students and also the needy students. To promote the activities necessary for welfare and overall development of the students. Context of the practice. This practice includes four different types of activities or the awards. First is the awards to the meritorious students. These include two types of awards. First is the those students who secure the rank at the university level. Uh, they are also uh, encouraged. Uh, they are also giving the financial assistance from the institute. And second, the college runs separate scheme for the uh, meritorious students. That is called as the Gumvatta Samman Yojana. That is, uh, we will see in the details. Second is the Earn and Learn scheme. Third is the research fellowship. Research fellowship not from the different funding agency. This is given by our own institute for the students who are working at the UG and PG level for their own research. And third is the financial assistance to the MPC project that is Maharashtra Pollution Control Board. Context of the practice awards to meritorious students. Uh, on that first is the university merit rankers. Majority of our students from rural, rural background have an unrest desire of higher education and are ready to take many efforts. However, they have less confidence and poor or middle level of financial background. In order to boost their confidence level and provide some financial assistance, the college frequently arranges and facilitates program on different occasions, invites their parents and felicitates them with cash prizes, medal, mementos or certificates. In that second is the uh, those students who are uh, uh, giving the best performance in NSS, NCC, sports and cultural activity. The college recognizes the talents of the students in various co-curricular and extracurricular activities. The special achievers in NSS, NCC, sports, cultural activities are felicitated and awarded with the cash prizes, medals, mementos and certificates. And the third is creative writing in English. Unmesh is an annual magazine which is published by our college. So in this Unmesh all the activities which are uh, conducted by the college throughout the year is mentioned in this uh, 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 separate uh, Unmesh writing uh, and all the achievements are also mentioned in this uh, publication. So second is the research fellowship or budget for students. Uh, research and development is a key area for the development of society and the nation. The college with the uh, six PG programs and four research programs need to promote students' research. Earn and learn scheme, the poor and needy students require some part of work and financial support which is provided by the earn and learn scheme for the students. The other forms of assistance include financial assistance to the volunteers which are working under the Maharashtra Pollution Control Board project. By the way, this one, earn and learn, yes. whatever it is, what is the criteria of choosing those students? If you say poor background, if there are 100 poor background students, how will you choose them? So in the beginning, we notify all, all, all students. So among that, no doubt, uh, 48, 45, 30 students they used to come by taking their interviews and we have the interview for five hours. So by taking the interview, so we the committee members decide who is more poor, who has more talent, who is needy, accordingly first, second, third, that is selected and that financial assistance. The practice awards for meritorious students. 
First is the EVU, second grade director. Felicitation of meritorious students, that is Gumanta Sangman Gojina, is one of the best practice adopted by the college. These students are awarded as per their subject wise merit with the cash prizes from deposit money, that is the interest generated from the money deposited by the trusty alumni uh, faculty members and current donors of the institute. Every year this program is conducted in the Dayanand uh, Auditorium of the Dayanand Education Society. List of many students is displayed and the cash prizes are distributed in the gathering and all donors are invited and two copies of the certificates of the many students are also given to the donors. Means that in this practice, sir, uh, the, what are the board members, uh, that is the trustee members, alumni, what are the alumni and the working faculties, they donate money and that money is deposited into the bank and whatever the interest is generated, we use to give for the students. Second is the NSS, NCC sport and cultural activities. Many students participate in various universities, state, national level games and achieve success. These students need sports materials like the badminton rackets, cricket bat, sports shoes, ball, ropes, track suits, etc. The college promotes these students by giving them incentives in the form of materials so that they can mark their achievement in specific sport competition. Uh, third is a creative writing in English. The college publishes annual magazine, Unmesh. The college encourages the student to contribute their writings in the form of poetry, essay, social issue, or any other issue they wish to write in any one of the language, that is the Hindi, Marathi, or English. From this literature, the college selects the best three writings and award them with the uh, cash prizes. By doing this, we try to explore the literature writing skill of the students. So these are the some photographic uh, uh, glimpses of this uh, award giving. Second is the research fellowship. The students also excellence in the research area, especially in the biological sciences at DUG and PGO. The students who have research oriented minds, they do extra efforts to clear their biological query, which can be solved by doing extra efforts in the laboratory by doing research. These students are taken into consideration for the publication of their research work in the reputed journals and college promotes them by giving them the research fellowship. Earn and learn, the college runs this scheme for poor and needy students to work part time without disturbing their academics. These students have to work in the library and have to have a responsibility to maintain a peace in the reading hall of the library from 5 pm to 10 pm. By this they by this they continue with their regular academics and also do their work. Other forms of assistance, the college is working on a special project, National Ambient Air Quality Monitoring Project, in collaboration with the Maharashtra Pollution Control Board, Mumbai, since 2008. In, the, in this project, students uh, have responsibility to collect the samples from various regions in Latur, collect and analyze the data of pollution generated in the city. Under this project, each year, three PG students of our college are selected as a field assistants and paid 8,000 rupees per month. So these are the photographic images. Uh, there are three stations in the Latur city. That's the, all right. The students are paid 8,000 per month. Yes. So 24,000 per no, month students. Sure. How much college gets from the Maharashtra pollution? See, but uh, because what happened? Uh, no, because you are giving your premises. Yes. yes. You are yes. providing the electricity. So if we have, instead of recruiting other persons, no. all college students have given the chance. That's true. The same amount uh, from the government of Maharashtra college. But college doesn't get anything from the pollution control board that you are providing a facility and everything there. No, for other, this is about the salary component. 
other components, uh, for example, for the contingency, it has been received uh, for chemicals or anything glass layers. Likewise, if you give your land to establish a tower, mobile tower, there is no rent. Uh, generally, mobile tower they give. 15,000, 20,000 yes. rent per month, everything like that. There is no such uh, uh, rent or anything extra for the college, whatever to run that project. Under that, the so it's a voluntary so. thing. You have, have volunteered to provide your space work. Yes. yes. So, who will give the money for uh, purchasing chemicals? Because there are the costly chemicals used by analysis of sulfur dioxide, nitrogen oxides. So, there is another budget, budget head, another contingency, chemicals. There is budget with college. Yes. It is not given the Maharashtra Commission from the board. That money is not given by the Maharashtra Commission from the board. No, it is given by the board. They are given. Because filter paper is a big question. Filter paper, so the money comes to purchase the filter paper.
in about 60,000 crore rupees. Pavel Sintar encountered due to COVID-19 pandemic, students physically moving uh, to the campus were restricted, resulting in the disturbances under the scheme. NSS NSS sports cultural activities were prohibited, prohibited due to the COVID protocol. Resources required the colleges aided by the Maharashtra government and uh, there are limited resources. The funds under the practice are limited by the college and the educational society and FCB. The college can expand and reach the scheme if uh, the budget more budget will get available. Thank you, sir. Okay, this is a uh, for the PG chemistry student 2000 first student for doing this project. Because project is more of the part of the career life. For project doing that, uh, he uh, requires chemicals, purchase of chemicals and other things, glassware, whatever thing. So in the annual budget, we allocated one lakh thirty thousand. Uh, so that that uh, particularly every student should be given two thousand rupees so that uh, he can do better. And more than that, if they want to carry their research, uh, project work in transform industry, our research organization, they have to pay the fees for that organization. The um, students have to pay the fee for that purpose. You are in the research organization? Ah, suppose the, I want to complete my project work from an institution yes, or yes. organization uh, or an yes, industry. Yes, the fees are so so such type of fees also been given to the so students for the characterization of college that the students have to pay from No, college, for some of the students, college is paying that fees also. If the student is going for NCR, for some university, if sophisticated institution, institution there, for the characterization, for sampling for 500, 600, so that fees has been paid by the college. And uh, as uh, that uh, fellowship uh, which uh, has been included, research fellowship, yesterday uh, those two, uh, two students, girl student, they came here. Both uh, the girl student awarded uh, by the college fellowship, research fellowship. One student of 50,000 and the outcome uh, about seven publications uh, under the BSc, at her BSc level she published. 